Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube. I am Mr. Right Way, and I'm here today to show you the right way to build your collection. Now, what you say, hey, how do you build your collection? How do you build your collection for the cheap? I got some little tips for you, man. I myself have been rebuilding my collection over the past year. Now, I've been collecting on and off for about, about, mm, I say, since I was. 19 uh have some income you know getting out the military you know just buying games here buying games there so i'll say about two years ago i really went hardcore in to collecting um and i found like man price is all over the place so i was like how can i build my collection the cheap and the right way to do so so i started visiting you know video game stores um i started going to like swap meets just those things wasn't really what I was looking for. Now, don't get me wrong. Those are excellent places to buy video games, you know. But main things I'm sticking to, it isn't working for me, is uh, pawn shops. Pawn shops are tremendous, especially here in the, uh, the Dallas area. I mean, there are so many pawn shops, and they usually have great prices sometimes. Now, to get good prices, you have to do some driving. You have to be committed, and you have to go often. And me, me being retired and from the military, I have all that. I have a lot of time in the world. You know, besides my photography, uh, I'm going out game hunting almost every other day. So I'm gonna show you the games I got. I like how I want to say so. You know. <laughs> so this stack of games right here, I got today. Now I paid thirty bucks for this. Now, this is usually more than I try to pay for, but I'm going to tell you why I paid $30 for this. Now, these stack, let's go over the DS games real quick, right? We have, like, Epic Mickey, Super Mario 3D Land, Mario 7, Super Mario, uh, Mario 7, Mario Kart 7, Super, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Animal Crossing, and Donkey Kong Country 3. Those games alone, if you go into GameStop, you're paying two, four, six, eight, ten. That's $100 at least in most shops. That's one good place for the reason. Then also some PlayStation 2 games to fill my collection like Constantine, Chess Master, uh, Terminator, Terminator Dawn of Fate, uh, some 360 games like Dirt 3, Forza Horizon, uh, Blood Bowl. And sometimes when you go uh, get uh, games from a pawn shop, they still have stickers on it like right here. Like they still have $14.99 sticker from, I guess it's an old GameStop sticker, which is pretty cool for me. Uh, a Star Trek game. Talk, speaking of my old GameStop stickers, this game right here, when I go Need for Speed Most Wanted, this is probably the best Need for Speed. I love this game so much. It's so, so great. And then I got a couple uh PlayStation 3 games like Afro Samurai and WWE 13, which is still better than WWE 20. I mean, <laughs> but anyway, now some of these games right here, I can, you know, I have doubles of, like, I have these games already. Um, some of these 360 games I still have. I have, like, two copies of these already. But what I use for these is, like, trade bait. So, go to, like, a meetup or even online on Facebook, you know, at some gaming groups. Like, hey, man, I have this for trade. Anybody want to uh, trade for it? Or if not, this game right here on the open market is 25 to $30. That's, like, Facebook Marketplace. That's, like, eBay. You want to sell to that. Now, selling back to like GameStop and then uh, certain game stores, you won't get that much. Now, some places like, I have a couple good places I go here in Dallas. Uh, they will give you like, you know, half the value of this. That's in trade credit. That's cool. I get another copy. Sometimes I just don't want to mess with eBay and stuff. So I take all my doubles and stuff and I go get those. And then I get other games that I want. I can build up pretty big games that I can get. So that's a pretty good thing to do. So pawn shops for me and for you can be a great source to build your, your uh, collection up quick. Now I'm putting up some pictures right here to show you some of the games I got at pawn shops and mixed in with like GameStop deals and stuff like that. So another thing is GameStop deals. GameStop deals are perfect. I mean, I'm rebuilding my 360 and my PlayStation 3 and also, I'm finishing off another Wii U collection. That video will be coming soon. <laughs> GameStop deals. GameStop 
is crazy, especially if you combine with the coupons, um, the four for ten. And that, that's right. It's the time of this video. They're doing. They're doing. You get four video games for ten dollars, but the games have to be on a four ninety nine. That's an incredible deal. I mean, some games I've found that are out of print that are like amazing. So let's take two out of the print games. We have Fist of the North Star and we have Knight's Country. Both of these games were $5 under $4.99. That means I got two more games to add with this. This is I have two copies of these because I went to GameStop and searched them out and found them. I can turn back and sell this one. You don't see too many of this game on eBay. I can turn around and get about 50 bucks for this. The same with Knight's Contract is, is trending up now, but I don't know why. And don't blame me if these two games start going up. I'm just telling you how you can build your collection up. But that's what you need to do. Build your collection up with different games. You know, buy cheap, sell high, or trade with it. It's always somebody who needs something for their collection. Also, too, make friends. Make friends with the different stores. Like, go to GameStop. Talk to them. Just don't say, like, Oh, what games you get in there? No, make conversation. Don't try to like be fake, but be have a gen genuine conversation with these people. Make the people laugh. You know, make them feel good. You know, they're working hard dealing with us gamers, and sometimes we can be real demanding. <laughs> I know I could be demanding sometimes. It's people who know me. Yes, I can be sometimes demanding, but in a good way because I know what I want. I'm very picky gamer. I have to have my collection. Like I have to have the case, and sometimes I got to have the manual. And speaking of that, these Nintendo 3DS games at the pawn shop were all a dollar a piece. That is crazy, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you why they were a dollar a piece. They wouldn't, they didn't have no boxes or they didn't have any instruction manuals. They just came with the single 3DS cart that's in here. I can't take out real quick, but it had this dead cart. So me using my um uh, my connections and also my friendships and stuff. I call around a couple game stores, a couple game stops, uh, different game stores. And hey, I got this game for you know, so what? Do y'all have any extra boxes laying around? Hey, sure, come on, get the boxes. And right there, and it makes my collection look much nicer. And if I ever decide to get rid of these, it's worth more. You know, I can sell these right here. If I want to sell these for ten dollars each, which I'm not going to do, I mean. I made my profit back already. That's 10, 20, 30, 40. Right there. Made my money back. And one last thing, too. Never pass up the opportunity to take free boxes. Uh, if I, especially at GameStop. Sometimes GameStop are throwing away cases. They're always throwing away uh, Nintendo DS cases. They're throwing away 3DS cases. Ask them. They're going to ask, say, hey, you got any 3DS cases or Nintendo DS cases that you are not going to keep? Uh, they sometimes they have them in the back just stacked they're like oh yeah here you go just take all these boxes and then just fill them also like this right here they're just gonna throw this box out nobody <laughs> i was like why are you throwing this this box out i mean just look if i i just take the cover out and i can replace this if i ever need it or sell this cover or whenever i get an extra copy of the game i have it complete so that's another thing to do and it's so great. Especially Mario boxes are always, always worth something to somebody somewhere. So, then again, that's uh, that's my tips, guys. If you like this video, uh, how to rebuild your collection the right way, I do more videos. The pawn shops and GameStop is really the first thing. Uh, I have more tips. If you want to see them, let me know in the comments. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe because I want to bring more content and more videos to you guys so there we go guys i hope these tips helped you out i hope you build your collection the right way and until next time i'll see you in the next video remember always do it the right way see you later take care